Hey friends, so glad you could join me for another score center. As always, I'll be doing my round 18 AFL tips, checking out Supercoach and the eBay top 10. We've got double the highlights this week. We've got some pack openings and the hit of the week. So let's kick things off with my footy tips. Okay, well before we get into round 18 tipping, let's first have a look back and see how I did last round and I actually got five tips correct, uh, which uh, is actually pretty good considering a lot of people I know uh, only got two or three. So I'm, I will take five very happily and we actually kicked the round off with four wins. Uh, so we started things off with Melbourne over Port Adelaide. Essendon had a big win over the Crows, uh, and speaking of big wins, Frio had a big one over the Hawks, and then Geelong over Carlton uh, in that game that's now unfortunately resulted in a couple of people testing positive for COVID, uh, so hopefully they will uh, be okay. Um, and, then, and then after that, we had four losses in a row, uh, including some uh, pretty big upsets. We had some Kilda over Brisbane, we, uh, I did tip the gi Giants, and things were looking pretty good. But then the Suns ended up winning by one point, so good on them. Uh, the Swans. The Swans beat the Bulldogs. And then I'm very, I was very happy to get this wrong. Very happy to see the Pies win. Uh, but yeah, what, what's going on with Richmond? And then, to end the round, probably the biggest... Probably the biggest limb I've gone out in tipping this year. Tipping North Melbourne over the Eagles. But I had a feeling, and I'm trying to listen to my gut more. And I did. And it made for a very entertaining, but incredibly uh, nerve-wracking watching experience. A lot of swearing. It would have actually been very funny to, if I had live-streamed that my uh watching that game but it was such such a great game and i'm so happy for the ruse to have won uh it's really great and they've been playing they've been playing much better footy lady lately so good on them so we turn our attention to round 18 and that's kicking off tonight with geelong against frio uh, this is going to be, I think this is going to be close, uh, but I feel like I have to go for Geelong, but do we want to say seven points? Say seven points. Uh, I feel like that's going to be a bit of a seesaw game. Oh, Brisbane, Richmond. I mean, Brisbane should... They should do it, but who knows? It's 2021. Who knows? Uh, giant Swans. Relatively comfortable going for the Swans, but again, who really knows? Uh, the Bulldogs should do it. Melbourne should. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that would be one of the biggest upsets of the year. Oh, St Kilda put Adelaide. Not sure about that. Well, I think this there'll be a lot more interest in this game than there would have been a month ago. But Essendon have been uh, playing very well. I think it'll be a great game. I'm looking forward to this a lot. But yeah. And then... Yeah, I think Pius will do a sneaky win there. West Coast Eagles versus Crows. Uh, I mean, Adelaide have been so up and down. If they play like last week, the Eagles will romp home. But the Eagles, uh, the Crows have been really great at pulling unexpected victories out of their hat. And the Eagles will be, like, they've had a really, really, really bad three weeks. Hmm. Let's go for St Kilda. Okay, let's go for the Eagles. Done. So last week, the Pack Smashers scored 2,319 points to be in the top 
So overall, um, pretty happy with how my team went. Uh, Bianco, 33. Uh, Aish, 52, were I think the worst. But yeah, other than them, uh, Taranto oddly got 64. That's unlike him, but yeah, look, I'm uh, obviously we'll uh, fiddle around with things a bit, but other than that, I'm uh, pretty happy with how things are going. Well, I can't really call it the eBay top 10 this week because we do actually have 17 different lots, but there was a lot of really cool stuff that I wanted to show. So I'll try to go a little bit quicker than I normally do so we can get through everything uh, in a relatively good time. Uh, but we kick things off with a Future Force 2017 red parallel of Connor Rosie. Uh, this was from the Future Force releases, which Select used to do um, of the uh, under 18s. Uh, and that is number 33 of 40. Uh, it's a very cool card. I really like that. That's uh, $610.09. Then we, we have this 2017-18 uh, Ashes Cricket Cards from Tap and Play. Uh, so this is a collection of different uh, signature cards uh, from Aussie and English players, uh, including Steve Smith, Matt Renshaw, Peter Hanscombe, Josh Hazelwood, Jimmy Anderson, Stuart Broad, Meg Laning, and Matthew Wade. Uh, and they're all numbered, they're all numbered to 100, uh, which is very, very cool. Uh, so yeah, tap and play when they were doing the cricket cards. That's old for something under 630. Then, the uh, from Prestige this year, the uh, Platinum Brownlow Predictor of the Bont, number 27 of 60, that sold for 650. There were quite a few of these sold this week. The uh, Brilliance, the Adelaide Legend card of Chris McDermott, that was number one of 50, that sold for something under 800. Keeping the theme of Brilliance, now also selling for something under 800. We've got Glenn and Alan Jakovic, very cool. This was number 25 of 50. Uh, one of my favorite things about this is uh, remembering that the uh, demons used to be uh, sponsored by Tui's Blue. That brings back a lot of memories. And we have the Patrick Dangerfield Gold Craft Card and the others from Team Coach. That's all for 800. Uh, for 850, we have Nat Fife's Brownlow Medalist card the uh, predictor and of course the uh the redemption card of uh his slightly smudged signature there but that's a very very awesome cool looking card and that was what that was numbered do, do, do. i think it was numbered 95 of 225 then moving on we have another brilliance the uh lord brothers uh alistair and stewart from Geelong that sold for something under 900. Very cool. Uh, this is wow, check this out. It's a, a Captain Blood Jack Dyer signature card. Uh, from when was that? That was 1996. So you get the redemption card and the actual card. That's uh, really awesome. Uh, that sold for $1,050. Then we uh, have a 2016 TLA uh, master set of uh, NRL Elite from 2016. Uh, so there was, so this is from the master set. So there's five master sets. I think this was number three. So every card is numbered MS three of five. So this was the uh, entire Panthers. NRL Elite set from 2016, uh, including every Penrith card from NRL Elite, uh, the engine rooms, uh, and then yeah, you have uh, Watani Zelezniak signature, Young Gun signature, and Josh Mansour signature. It's a very nice signature. Uh, yeah, so they're all numbered three or five, and then you have the rubies, the Mojo rubies back then. Uh, so yeah, that's a very cool set. That sold for something under uh, 1,200. Then we have the Rocker Brothers uh, Brilliance Signature. 
that's all for 1200 it's not the greatest photo but that's such an awesome card that's number 19 of 50 it'll be interesting to see if Salax do another brilliance uh, if they do something similar because uh, I really really like those unfortunately I wasn't lucky enough to get any of the uh, brother signatures but good luck to the people who did uh, then we have another 60s Scanlon's Rugby League card uh, making it onto the list. Of course, the legend, Johnny Raper. Uh, this sold for 1200 That, uh, yeah, Near Mint, 1964. For 1300 this uh, Dusty from Footy's, uh, the Footy's Finest card from Certified 17. Uh, Number 20 of, I think it's 80, or possibly 30, although 30 is a really low number. Uh, I think it's 80. Do correct me if I am wrong. It's a little hard to tell, but it looks like it's an 8. Uh, but yeah, that's Footy's Finest Dusty for 1300. Then, got another Dusty. Uh, this time, we haven't seen these for a while, the Green Parallel, number three. Uh, so close to a jumper number, but it's a very, very low number. That's sold for $1,400. That's the uh, back of the card, number three of 60. And uh, that was, of course, from this year's Prestige. Then uh, we have the uh, Pendles Gold Craft card uh, for 1500 Unfortunately, it hasn't arrived yet, so I... Uh, can't unbox it yet, but that's uh, what we will be opening hopefully next week. Then, in second place, we've got the, the Dusty version. But that is just the uh, Collage Craft Card number four. And that sold for $17.99. And then in first place, I've got the Dusty at the top again. This is uh, the Prestige Marquee. That's number 17 of 40. Beautiful, beautiful card. Uh, and that sold for $1,995. So this week we uh, did get two highlights turned up in time for the uh, video. So let's crack open our uh, highlights for this week. I've got that one and then I'll put this one open. This one just came today. So we'll pop that over there and get to uh, our highlights. Uh, for this week, it's double trouble. Now, what do we got? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, cool, cool. So, let's, uh, doesn't want to come out. Okie dokie. Well, here we go. We've got, for our AFL highlights, for round 15, we've got Tim O'Brien's absolutely mind-blowing mark. That was absolutely phenomenal to watch. Uh, what an awesome awesome mark really glad that um somebody had a photo of that because uh, we uh did see so i think it was jack rewalt who uh, took an absolutely uh, awesome mark but that wasn't captured by the afl's photographers so select weren't able to put it on a card so really uh, happy for tim o'brien that uh, there was a photographer right there and then our nav rising star for round 15 was Devin Anderson, uh, Devin Anderson, Devin Robertson, I should say, for the uh, for the Lions. Let's check out what uh, number we've picked up. Oh, 158, I feel like we're getting a lot of numbers uh, sort of around there. One, 150s, 160s, I feel like we've got a lot of recently. 268 cards were bought. Let's see if we can be a bit luckier with our number and see if again the now rising star can uh, outrank the uh, highlight. Well, yeah, there you go, we've got 56, so that is better. But uh, yeah, 172. So in this case, uh, the highlight did uh, outshine the uh, now rising star there. Now, let's get this, this uh, baby blue pouch open. And so this would be for around 16. I would assume that makes sense. Yep, round 16. Here we go. We've got Sam Walsh on the cover. Oh, yeah, on the front of the uh, card. That's the sealer in that uh, great game against Frio. And our 
highlight, uh, a nav rising star rather, is uh, just a McInerney from the Swans. And haven't they had uh, quite a lot of nav rising stars? I think this is probably, I think at least their fourth of the year. Uh, they've had a lot of uh, young guns, the Swans definitely. Now let's check out the Sam Walsh card. What number do we have? Oh, we've got 205. 205 of 324. 324 is the uh, the number to beat. Can the Swans do it? What have we got? I've got 87, but 161. So uh, this week we've uh, seen the uh, the highlights outshine the Nab Rising Star. So uh, interesting to see that. But yeah, definitely uh, a lot of Blues fans getting behind Walshy. 324 cards. Time now to check in with a common medal tally, and it was all a bit quiet last week. Harry Mackay remains on top with 48 goals. He kicked two against Geelong. Tex remains on 41 because, of course, he's injured and didn't play last week. Josh Bruce added one goal to his tally. He's now on 40. However, Ben King and Tom Hawkins uh, didn't kick a goal between them. Uh, they remain on 38 and 37, respectively. Jack Rewalt kicked one in that loss to the Pies. He is now on 36. The best of the uh, top 10, Toby Green, managed three against Gold Coast in that one-point loss. He is now on 35. If anybody wants to catch Harry, they will have to pull up their socks. So the hit of the week was this green rising star powers James Rowbottom card that we did pull from one of our 10 packs that I picked up from a Collingwood news agency on Saturday morning. Uh, we did battle those against 10 packs from a Richmond news agency, of course, to celebrate the Richmond uh, Collingwood game uh, that round. So can we continue that luck? Well, I've got, I uh, in my travels to try to get those packs from Richmond, uh, one of the places that I did visit was a West Richmond uh, news agency, and I uh, they only had three packs left. So we've got three packs of Team Coach from West Richmond, um, and I don't remember where I got these. These have been sitting around for a while, but I thought we'd open up uh, three packs of Footy Styles, three packs of Team Coach, and uh, see uh, see what we get. Let's uh, we might just take them one at a time and see what we get. See if we can be. Super lucky, see what's been hiding in West Richmond all this time. I've got a Hawks 3D icon with a Sean. I keep saying Sean, I don't know why I'm, I keep going to say Sean. Uh, Sean Burgoyne, of course, uh, playing his uh, 400th game uh, just a couple of weeks ago in Jack Gunston. And uh, well, indeed, uh, Sean's old team and the team that he played his 400th game against was Port. And there you go, it's Robbie Gray's gold card. Uh, very cool. Well, let's, yeah, let's, let's just uh, go between them, between uh, the footy stars and the team coach. So, oh, we've got a Collingwood. We've got a Jeremy Howe Polo. And, oh, it's a bang! Oh, it's a bang! Oh, okay, what team is, oh, it looks like Port Adelaide. Oh, it is a Port Adelaide. We're just mentioning Port Adelaide. Oh, just imagine if it was a Robbie Gray, who is a, oh, it's Tom Rockcliffe. Tom Rockcliffe, who we do actually have the uh, Brownlow medal predictor, uh, which, you know, he's not gonna get, but that's very cool. Oh, Tom Rockcliffe, bang. That is so cool. Oh, there you go, wow, huh. What number do we have? 183. 183 of 210 for the rock, uh, the Tom Rockcliffe bang. Ho ho! Wow, that'd be nice if that could focus. That is very, very cool. Very, very cool. And then the rest of it, oh, we've got Jack Crisp. We did, didn't we get, we got Isaac Quainer in the uh, team coach commons. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. As I say, I haven't bought uh, Footy Stars from a shop for a very long time, but I have had packs just uh, chilling around, chilling out. Oh, I've got Taylor Adams, best and fairest. 
and Sean Burgoyne. There you go, I've just had a, a, a double Sean tree. And hopefully it's actually showing up because these 3D icons can be a bit um, hard because I was watching, uh, I think it was last week where we got that card and I was talking about Sean, but it looked like I had Jack up for the whole time. But so sometimes the, the angle that I'm holding it in real life and seeing it on camera uh, doesn't quite work. Uh, so there you go, Sean Burgoyne's Hawthorne Star Power. Now, so the only best and fairest I need is the uh, Jacob Weedering one. So what are we getting in our second pack of footy stars? I can't believe we've got a bang. That's very, very cool. We've got a James Cousins Hollow and... Oh, it's a camo, it's a Starburst camo of Bradley Hill. I don't know if we have that. I think we've got the uh, fire version of that. Not sure if we have that. Where am I putting that? That's where I'm putting that. Okie dokie, well. This is our final team coach. This is the final pack from West Richmond. Uh, let's see what West Richmond treats. Oh, it's an old bot. Oh, it's Ben King, Sun King. I only have 50 million of these. Oh, I feel like, like, I think everybody's got a particular card that they pick up so many of the same one. And Harry Perryman from GWS Giants. Now, what can we pull from Footy Stars? Well, I think we've like probably got the best. Getting a box hit. Although I have to say, I, I have still have not got a Lightning Camo Starburst. They're, a one in every two box card. But I've got I've got two case cards from Footy Stars this year. I've picked up two case cards, but have not managed to pick up a one in two box card. And I really, really like the look of the uh, the um, the Lightning Starburst. So hopefully we can actually pick up one um, this year. I'd just be happy to get one. That would be awesome. Uh, we've got Tom Williamson, uh, Carlton Hollow, and, oh, it's another, it's a Starburst. It's North. Oh, it's Taron Thomas. I feel like we got this last week or the week before. It's a great card. And, oh, what, a, what an awesome win that the uh, Ruse had over the Eagles. That was massive. Well, that's another banging edition of Score Center done and dusted. And with Sydney's COVID lockdown being extended and Melbourne on the verge of another lockdown, I hope everybody is doing as best as they can. I'm sending lots and lots of positive vibes to everybody out there. And I hope my videos provide a little bit of comfort and a little bit of sunshine. Until next time, stay cool, take care of yourselves. I'm Dave, this is Scorecard Collectibles, and I can't wait for you to join me next time.